Mr. Honor Mees are a tour de force in the industry, and we are thrilled they're with us this evening. At the Red Sea, we always talk about how the film festival is a cultural bridge. By this, we mean that we want to show how cultures can coexist with mutual understanding that will form partnerships. When I saw What's Love Got to Do With It, I saw a movie version of The Cultural Bridge. It's a story about two neighbors in London who are best friends. A boy from a Pakistani family and a girl from England. It's made by an Indian filmmaker, Shikhar Kapoor, with scenes shot in Pakistan and England. The boy is going to have an arranged marriage, and the girl, a documentary filmmaker, is excited to be commissioned to make a movie about her lifelong friend. What happens next? It's funny, intelligent, and joyful, and is sure to melt your hearts. The film is written by Jemima Khan with incredibly witty and insightful dialogue. It stars Shahzad Latif, Lily James, Shabana Azmi, Sajal Ali, Jeff Mirza, and Emma Thompson. The music is also a cultural melting point with sounds from Natin Sohini and Nonibar. We would like to thank Salim, uh, Ramia, and Co., the Middle East distributors, Studio Canal, and Working Title for allowing us to see the film. It's a delight and a pleasure to invite director Shakar Kapoor, writer Jemima Khan, actors Shabana Azmi, Sajal Ali, and Jeff Mirza on stage, as well as musician Nari Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, what's love got to do with it? And even this one day and a half that I've been here, I've seen how amazingly everybody is contributing to it. I have loved being here, and uh, we all know that somewhere the winds need to change. For too long, the winds have come from the west to the east. Somewhere in the desert sands of this nation, the winds need to rise again. And from this desert sands, the winds need to bring a new narrative. the world and didn't these desert sands have been from here being one of the greatest religions to the whole world? It did. That's what we have to do. So thank you very much, sir. And uh, I, I have to do my duty. Yeah, thank you. I have to thank somebody for Mohammed. <laughs> thank you, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. And the managing director, Shivani Monday, you an old friend, where are you? Oh, you are? Okay, great. And the program, Kaleem Kaleem, thanks for bringing us here. All right, thank you. Um, Ron Halpern, the head of Studio Canal. Can I tell you a story about Ron? Ron, a little secret. So, Jemima brought the script to me and she said, I'd like you to direct the film, but when you meet the studio head, please say it's a romantic comedy. And I said, that's no, not a romantic comedy, it's a hot comedy, it's a hot film. And she said, if you don't say it to Ron Halpern, it's a romantic comedy, he will never fund the film. 
Ron, it's a romantic comedy. I promise you it's a romantic comedy. Actually, it's not. It's just a film full of art. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Ron, for standing behind us. And uh, Salim, Rania, SR, and company, the distributors. Can you stand up? The distributors are always the people who actually bring our films uh, to the audiences. Thank you. So, let me introduce to you Lucas Webb. Where are you, Lucas? Lucas Webb from Working Title, one of the producers of the film. Yeah. Lucas, um, there you are. Lucas, oh, there you are, Ron. Ron, it's a romantic comedy. It's a romantic comedy. It's a romantic comedy. I keep telling you. So, there you are, Ron. Uh, Lucas is one of those producers who helps me every time you're a director. Guy. Oliver, you're well known for throwing a fit on, on, on food. So every time I would throw a fit, Lucas would go, calm down, calm down. It's all right. I'll look after you. I'll look after you. So thank you for calming me down, Lucas. And now, one day I got a script and I read the script and it was so full of heart. But it was so full of somebody who wrote that script that there were little peeks into her own search for love. It was her own search for love and the heartfelt ideas that were forming in our own, in our own heads. So, Jemima, thank you. Thank you for sending me a step full of heart. But wrong, it's a romantic comedy. Okay, and uh, Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy is very aptly called Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy, thank you for the wonderful music that you gave. Naughty Boy and my daughter, who's right here, are now collaborating. It was because my daughter I met him. And they're doing something together. And Naughty Boy, thank you. Thank you very much. Jeff, Jeff. From the very day that you first read for the film, you were always there, and you will all see the lovely performance. Such a... Do you know that the first time you came on the screen at the first showing, every man in the, in the whole hall went, <gasps> like that. So, you are, she's one of Pakistan's greatest actresses, and she's brilliant, thank you very much. And uh, I have a friend from many, many years ago, many, many years ago, called Shabana Azmi. We worked, she was in my first film. She was my first film in what? I just did it 10, 20, 30 years later, we worked together again, and it was like we were back 30 years ago. So, thank you very much, and thank you for having our film, and may you just change the world from here. The new winds of change. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much, much Shikhar Kapoor, <laughs> Jemaya Khan, composer Naughty Boy, and the cast of What's 